Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, then welcome to the channel. What am I doing today? Well, today I'm going to be uh, finishing the table, which is here, uh, for Sexy Brad, for the uh, van conversion. I'm also going to be finishing the last bit of spraying on the HB35. There's just a little bit more to do. I'm just currently uh, got my spray can in some hot water. Top tip, which uh, some of you guys told me in the comments. Thank you very much for that. It does really help actually uh, if you put your can in some hot water leave it for a few minutes before you shake it up and spray it the spray goes on a lot better um, and then I'm going to be wiring up the plug sockets in the camper van as well so yeah see you in the van so I'm just doing a bit more sanding We had a bit of a result yesterday. We went down to our local B&Q to get some batten. And they have a charity bin in there and you can make a small donation. And there was all this in there, including a very nice mirror as well. So we're gonna use this to put cupboards up here, possibly around here and possibly up the top at the back for storage. There is a lot more down there as well. So I may go back and see if I can grab some more. Um, so that saved us a bit of cash and helped out charity too. So that's pretty cool I uh, made this out of uh, some old pallets, which is gonna fit in with our rustic kind of shabby chic look uh, We're not sure if we're gonna paint that white with the rest of it or Stain it or something, but either way it's gonna have to be sealed um, And it's a little bit too big um, Got my measurement slightly wrong there, so I need to shave off a bit So I need to go get the trusty planer out, but basically that's gonna Double up, double up as a table, so it's going to clip onto here, come out the table with the leg on, and then at night you can fold the leg up and bring it down to make the base of the bed. There you go. Got my trusty planer out. It is actually a little bit not square, um, so I'm going to shave it off like that. The distance between the box and in isn't exactly square either. Um, because there's flexibility in the uh, the wall panels but we'll, we'll make this the right shape and there it is that's the base of the bed all in uh, so that seat slides forward and meets with that and we can raise that up and make it a table and you can sit on the wheel arches like, at the table just figuring out how we're going to do that so this is how it kind of works at the moment this is it down as a bed and you can just lift it up Put it there like that, we'll put some clips, we'll make all this look a bit neater. Probably face that in uh, some hardboard or something, uh, with a handle on it. Um, and then you'll be able to lift it up, like so, hook it on here, there'll be a table. Hook it off, put it down on here, that's the base of the bed. So now we're going to do the plug sockets, I've got some of these. Uh, with USB on them as well, so it's going to be two doubles. We're going to put them, I think, one here on this side, and one here on this side. And there's going to be one up in the cupboard up the top there, just a plastic one, to power the LED lights, which goes around this roof, which would be nice. So let's crack on with that. Back boxes in. I've got two different types because they only had one of each, but they'll both do the job. So I just need to run the wire now from the inverter under the seat through the boxing up to that one, spur off to that one, and then to one inside that cupboard up there. So here I am in High Wycombe. Took me nearly three hours to get here. I oh, hope it's quicker to get home. It should be, but we'll see. Um, so I've got the plug sockets in, which I thought I'd quickly show you before I start my gig. And there they are. Isn't that lovely? Two doubles with two USB per socket. So we've got four USBs and four sockets running off the inverter. Very nice. <laughs> Thank you. 
successful build so far on the uh, on the bongo. Not successful on the gig front. Pretty much went like that all night. Uh, the state of the music industry is getting bad, man. Still, we carry on. And uh, if anybody's interested, the uh, the van that I'm working on is a Mazda Bongo Friendy. It's a 1995. Uh, import from Japan. It's a turbo diesel. It's 2.5 uh, turbo diesel. Um, I've had it for three years. Uh, I've done oh, 60,000 miles in it, unconverted, touring around the country. I've had bands in it, full drum kit and everything. You know, up and down the country, it's been it's been a very very good van. I do keep it serviced. Um, it's looking a little bit tired. You know, it's been used, but um, the conversion is going really really well. We're really really pleased with it. Um, Obviously, we're going to do some stuff with the outside as well, but it's now November and it's cold, it's winter, so we're just concentrating on the inside. And we are kind of making it up as we go along. Um, the next thing we're going to address, um, obviously after I've done those uh, ceiling cupboards, etc., is the heating. Um, and we're also thinking about what kind of fridge to get. So if any of you van buffs out there could advise on heating, obviously we don't want to go fan heater because the inverter and the leisure battery would not last very long with a fan heater going um, although the intention is to use hookup as much as possible um, I was looking at diesel heaters and also the heater buddy uh, kind of thing propane heaters and things like that but if anybody has any advice on heating the van in the winter months that would be much appreciated if you could put them in the comments um, so that concludes this video we're going to leave this one right there um, next thing I'm going to be doing is the ceiling cupboards and I do I have found um, a template uh, for that so that's going to be really great I'm going to share that with you in the next video um, my daughter is obviously making her vlogs hers are much more in depth than mine I'm just kind of skimming through it um, she's going to be releasing her first episode soon, so look out for that. I will definitely uh, be putting that your way. It's going to be—it's quite funny actually in places. <laughs> Watched a bit of the uh, editing today; did have us laughing a little bit. Anyway, so if you do like this kind of video, then please do like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out in a big way. If you want to support the channel further, then head over to my Patreon page, and you can become a patron. You can donate, etc. I will be adding info on the build on my. Patreon page once we have collected enough information which uh, any of you bongo owners out there or, or camper van owners might find useful and um, things we're learning um, as we go along uh, with and there'll be links and schematics and all kinds of things um, but that'll be coming later um, obviously the next video will probably be all about guitars again but uh, at the moment I'm kind of chopping between van build and uh, guitar stuff um, I also have a lot of stuff for sale, um, so if anybody wants to message me, I've got a great deal on a whole bulk of stuff. Anyway, only one more thing left to say, and that is, peace. Till next time. Uh, the plan is we're going to paint all this, we're going to undercoat it all, and we're going to shabby chic it. And give it that shabby chic look, but that's all down to Harley, that's her department, she's the artist. Go check out her channel, Makeup Artist. Um, she's just starting out on YouTube, go give us some love. Um, so that's her department, we're going to paint all of that and the inside of the van, she's going to make curtains and do all sorts of things. And there's going to be a solar panel going on the roof as well. Uh, all in good time. One, two, three, four. If you like my YouTube show, hit like and comment and get involved. If you dig my vibe, then hit subscribe and never miss an episode. My YouTube show <laughs> Peace Till next time